Hello everyone and welcome back. If it looks a little bit hectic here, my niece has been over for the weekend which has been incredibly great. But a lot of things have been touched and my OCD is... <sighs> I love her so she's lucky. <laughs> So in today's video I thought I would do just nice like a nice sit down video and um, before you kind of get chucked loads of tour videos, studio tour videos and what I got from Harry Potter studio because I've never been personally I've never been it's always some somewhere I've wanted to go but have actually never been lucky enough to go. So, as you may or may not know, I am going with my friend Joanne, and I am really excited, and I am going to vlog the whole thing, because I definitely want this as, like, something that I'm going to remember forever. Sorry, it's really annoying me that this is half, like, bear with me. It's just literally pens, just everywhere. Just... I have this, I have no idea what it is, I think it's broken from an LOL doll. I have one of her bobbles here, I have a clip over there. She's missing a lot of things is my niece. Um, props my brother's fault. Oh well. So I just kind of want to sit down, do a short little video because I don't really have any video ideas if I'm honest with you on what I wanted to do and I am trying to make everything Harry Potter themed. Um, so I thought it'd be a really good idea if I got my phone and just kind of went to the Harry Potter studio section and just kind of have a look and see what I'm excited to see. Obviously there's like different sets and that's what I'm really looking forward to as well. I really want to see the Great Hall which is the first thing that's come up here. Um, I think apparently according to my friend at work there's something that happens at the beginning and she thinks that I'm going to get really emotional and I kind of hope it is seeing the Great Hall because I think I would be really emotional seeing that anyway. Like I can imagine like how magical it must feel in there so i'm really excited for that there's also the forbidden forest i don't want to click on anything because i don't want it to be ruined but from the images it looks amazing uh, but yeah there's a forbidden forest set there's a platform nine and three quarters i don't think are you allowed to go on the the train because i'm 100 percent down for that i mean it it is an actual train, right? Well, you know what I mean. I want to go sit down and pretend that I'm going to Hogwarts. I mean, who doesn't, you know? There's a Diagon Alley. Oh my goodness, that looks sick. Oh, I'm so excited to go now when this is up. So this is up on Sunday and then in a week's time, you'll have the first tour video out. How crazy is that? So that is what they're showing me as the sets. So there's SFX and VFX that you can also see. That's good. Oh my goodness. So the Chamber of Secrets door. See, I haven't ever properly looked into this. I usually just go onto it, have a little look. There's also a Gringotts Bank one now, if I'm 100% correct, um, which I'll be very excited to see as well. I don't know if it's just in the shop or if it's like an actual set, but from looking at it, it does look like it's just in the shop, which is fine. I actually don't mind that. Uh, but this is like the SFX, special effects, visual effects kind of thing. So we've got the Chamber of Secret door. We've got the invisibility clock. Oh my God, that's going to look so good. I cannot wait to see the... Like I am obsessed with obviously like the films and things like that. But I, just as an individual to how, like, how I've always been, like, growing up, I love everything behind the scenes. So to see things like this, I am going to be, like, in my element. I cannot wait. The Whomping Willow. Oh, my God. <coughs> I got so excited. I choked. I'm so excited. It's got, like, the car as well. Oh, my God. That scene is just hilarious. The green screen, obviously, and how they fly and things like that. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's go to the props. I'm just going to have a quick... I feel like every sit-down video just has me with tea. I think that should be my thing. So the props. The potions classroom. Oh, God. Over 950 potion jar lines the wall of the classroom. 900... I mean, there are a lot, so that makes sense. The memory cabinet. Tom Riddle. <gasps> oh 
Professor Umbridge's office. The puking pastels. So that's what it's saying there. Creature effects. If I swear to God, if I have to see Aragog making it look real, I think I might die. Because <laughs> I am like Ron and I hate spiders. Like, I keep... I keep... There's literally a mini one down there. But I think I've got to the point now where if they don't really look offensive to me, I kind of leave it. Like, I'm going to leave that one till my dad gets home because <laughs> it's not going to really affect my day. But I am really scared of spiders and I go to Aust Australia next year and that is the worst thing that's going to happen to me is coming across one of those disgusting large spiders. Oh. Anyway, the... Is it... Basilisk? Basilisk. That's what it is. Oh, that'll be sick. Buckbeak. The goblin heads. Oh, the goblins kind of freak me out a little bit. That might be an unpopular opinion, but I also don't like E.T. anymore. Arago Ooh, sorry, I know that's really bad. <laughs> Look at him though. Look at him. Look at him. I've probably run past that one, it's all good. And then the costumes. So obviously we get to see the Quidditch costumes, <gasps> the 19 years later costumes. Oh my God, I forget that, yeah, she, they will have been wearing wigs. How crazy, I just thought that they'd like, did something with it. The Yule Ball, I mean, Ron's was like the best outfit out of all the males, of course. The, <sighs> Is it bow back battens? Bow battens? I can never say because it it's French. I'm really bad with the French pr pronunciation. Oh, there's an art department. See, this is what I mean. Like, I am so like nerdy with things like that. So you can see the Hogwarts Castle model, the graphic design. <gasps> oh my god. The white card models. Ooh. The technical drawings. How exciting! I am really excited and I said to Joanne, I was like, I want this to be a really good vlog. Like obviously I'm going to split it into two parts because I have a feeling it's going to be a very long vlog. So I am splitting it. So next week you will get part one and then I'll do like a part two the week after. Then after that I will do like a what I got from Harry Potter Studios and then, then, I'll, then I'll be done. I'll have had my fix of all things Harry Potter Studios. And then we'll probably be crying because I'm not there. <laughs> That's how it's gonna work. Um, okay, so I thought I, it would be a really good idea to have a look at the studio shops because that is a thing me and Joanne keep talking about. I know what I want to get. There's like two main things I want to get. One is a Time Turner necklace and the second is a new Gryffindor scarf because I have one but I have to wrap it around three times it's so long so those are the two things I want I saw on Cherry Wallace's video that she's done like the main one that she, the, the latest one that she did that, that you can get some like quill pens and I want to get a bunch of them because I am definitely about that life and I'm obsessed with the pens anyway so I want to get one of them um, that is what I have decided for now if there are anything that are like replica replicas that I'm interested in, I might get one. I have Hermione's wand. Now I'm thinking, do I get Ron's as well? Who knows? Um, but yeah. So there is the Forbidden Forest Shop. Oh, you can get an Aragog plushie if you want one. The Railway Shop. Oh, I just saw Hedwig and got a little bit sad. Okay, so that's that's what it's saying that they've got. So I'm guessing these, like, you have the studio shop as well, sorry. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a look at the, sh um, the actual online shop and see what I'm interested in. I want some Gryffindor stuff. I have a Gryffindor pin here that Joanne got me. I have discussed this previously, the sorting hat one. I want to wear this on the day, but I haven't decided. I probably will just put it on my, my top because I'm wearing my... I solemnly swear it, I am up to no good Gryffindor top that I got from the June unboxing. I'm definitely wearing that. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going Gryffindor and Joanne is going Hufflepuff, obviously representing our um, 
shops, uh, shops, I'm really shops, that's why, our houses down to a T. I'm a little bit gutted that the House Pride box isn't going to be sent in time because I think it would have been really nice to wear something from my House Pride box, but oh well. That is what I want to get, the reversible Gryffindor scarf. Maybe a hat, I do really like a hat, which might be weird, but... See, they have really nice notebooks, which sounds probably really weird, but again, I am really into, like, stationery, like, hello, you can't really see, but there's everything stationery here. Um, okay, so because I am running out of battery right now, and this needs to be charged to the full when I go to Harry Potter Studio, that is it. So those are, like, the things I'm excited for, things I want to buy, Ed, thank you so much for watching. If you have been to Harry Potter Studio before, please leave a comment down below of what your favourite part was. And I will be back next week with my first part of my Harry Potter Studios tour vlog. Thank you for watching. Bye.